Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Honey, ho, guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the Den of Tools. And today we've got a special one for you. We've got the bear versus Bob Vila. <laughs> yeah. So I was tooling through the, uh, the old tool news today, and I ran across an article on all things on Bob Vila's own website. And he was talking about the 12 best tools powered by batteries for you to buy. I, I was like, well, I, I got to see what Bob says about this. I mean, after all, it's it's Bob Vila, right? So let's scroll down. Let's go through the list. The first on his list is the Lopper. Basically, he's looking at the, uh, the handheld consumer-grade chainsaw market. And they say here, this is not your grandma's Lopper. <laughs> like my grandma. Yeah, like my grandmother would use anything like this. Anyway, this is literally like this, like, safety chainsaw thingy from Black & Decker with a price of $145. I'm sorry, I, I realize that this one's got some decent reviews on it, but most people who've tried these things that I've talked to say they're, they're pretty much a joke. You can do up to, get this, up to a 4-inch limb with this thing. So what you have here really isn't so much a chainsaw so much as a pruner kind of thing. And not even like a, a pole one you could extend up or anything. So we thought we'd try to find something to be a better option for you. Here's what we found. That is the Harbor Freight 40-volt, 14-inch cordless chainsaw. This is this is beyond like basic consumer. You can actually go out and fell a tree with this thing. And as you see, there's a coupon price on it for $149.99. Putting it a few bucks more than this. Honestly, there's cheaper... Uh, consumer grade chainsaws out there that'll get you well under a hundred dollars that's still going to get you a decent sized bar on it where you could uh, you know fill a small tree much less a, a four inch limb all right but enough of that let's keep going let's see what else bob has in store for us the cordless sander the ryobi all right i'll be honest this is not a terrible sander it it, it, it isn't uh, i'm not a huge fan of the ryobi battery platform they're not bad but there's nothing great about it the form factor of this, the other thing about the Ryobi batteries is they're pretty big. And for $40 here, you know, for $10 more, you can step up to a rigid 18-volt cordless 5-inch random orbital sander with a, a variable speed on it. Now, on top of that, Rigid offers a lifetime service agreement. Now, you may have heard the bear, you know, be down on Rigid before. I used to actually be a huge Rigid fan, but I, I, I'm, I'm kind of kind of put off by the way they do their LSA. Basically, you have to really cross your T's, dot your I's, keep all your paperwork. But if you do, if you do all that, then they might actually honor that lifetime service agreement. Still, you know, for $10 more than the Ryobi to get a variable speed and to uh, and get what honestly I think is a better ergonomic sander, uh, I would definitely go with the, uh, the Rigid versus the Ryobi on this. All right, let's see where else Bob goes with this. A drill. Okay, we got to have the cordless 20-volt drill here. And, and Bob's choice for a 20-volt drill is the Materic 20-volt. The Mat Okay, I'll be honest. I'd never heard of this company before, and I looked it up, and apparently nobody else has either. You know what you know would be a better drill than this? Like, literally a monkey with a stick. All right, I'll be honest. I've actually got some drills like this in the shop that uh, China has sent me. I At this point, I've stopped even worrying about each little factory. I just call it China as a whole. And uh, I've got another one that, that actually I'm going to be doing a test on because you guys asked for it. And that's the Ho Life drill. Yeah, I kid you not. Remember, keep the comment section clean. Any, literally any drill platform you could go with would be better than this. You can go from Ryobi, Black & Decker, anything from Harbor Freight. I mean, the Drill Master, I think, would be a better option than this thing. Okay, maybe not the Drill Master. The Bear could rant on this for, for eons, but we're going to keep going. The Leaf Blower by Craftsman. <laughs> yeah, if you know uh, Bob Vila's background, you got a snicker when you see Craftsman involved in it. But anyway, the there he's saying you, that you need to get the 20 volt cordless brushless axial blower kit from Craftsman for only a hundred and sixty dollars. Yeah, I think the Bears got a better option for you here than that. Let's see what we can find you. How about the Hyper Tough 40 volt max cordless 420 CFM turbine blower? Now this is going to give you more CFM than than the than the Craftsman there, and one of the cool things about the HyperTough line is for your average homeowner, 
they're 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 plenty good enough but they offer a 40 volt version which is really not it's not the single battery it's two of their 20 volt batteries plugged in i think that's pretty cool for some flexibility there don't you allowing you to not have to add in an additional battery platform to get that 40 volt power all right let's get back to see where bob's taking us next with a fan oh look it's more craftsman 60 dollars from lowe's now uh, can we beat that <laughs> like a monkey with a stick oh and here we go we got a ryby 18 volt one plus hybrid portable fan for only basically 40 dollars now this is just like the craftsman it's going to be a hybrid power so you can either plug it in or you can use a battery let's be honest these these have been cloned almost every tool line has one i know bauer's coming out with one we'll probably see one for hercules as well they're great fans they really are but i think tti is really the ones who started the trend on this uh they set the bar and i you know I, unless you're you know really into that craftsman line uh already hooked line the sinker i don't think i'd be going with one but anyway let's see what else bob has for in his suggestion box for the weed whacker uh the ego power cordless string vector or string is <laughs> string trimmer 15 inch for 200 and essentially 280 dollars holy cow 280 dollars for a string trimmer all right if you saw my review of the milwaukee i mean don't get me wrong and this is actually very similar to the milwaukee in fact it might be a clone of the milwaukee just looking at it same handle factor same head factor looks very similar to it but the fact of the matter is, it's a, it's way overkill for most homeowners. Who needs to spend $300 or almost $300 on a cordless string trimmer? If you've got a massive yard, I'm sorry, if you have an estate, okay, yeah, I can see you going like this. But if you're your average bear, you know, uh, you know, homeowner, you know, I, man, unless you've got some really nasty hedges you need to trim back or something and you want to use a string trimmer for it, or you just have like you know 40 acres in the mule back there i don't see why you would want to go with that much heck black and decker does a combo kit with their little mini blower and their string trimmer for around 120 bucks a couple times a year that's a great pickup for you know your small average kind of house anyway let's keep going let's come on bob what do you got for next the stud finder maybe i'm old school and i just got used to using the old you know knuckles on, on the wall kind of thing but let's say you really want to be serious and find find the old stud, see what's back there. Well, they have this for $26. And uh, let's see here. Quickly locates metal studs, pipes, rebar, joists, a lot of live electrical wires, blah, blah, blah. It gives you an idea of what's back there and where it is. Not bad. But I'll tell you what I got a chance to use. And I got to tell you, I was really impressed with it. And that is the Wally Bot, Wally Bot, Wally Bot, Wally Bot DIY Stud Finder. This is uh, a, a device that plugs in via USB to your phone. Actually goes on the back of your phone. You slide your phone over over the wall, and it basically gives you Superman-like like vision. You Not only can you see where the stud is, you can see the path that it's taking. It'll also show you what kind of device or what kind of device, what kind of item is behind the wall. Uh, let's see if I can find a picture. Yeah, here we go. You can see it's showing you a pipe there, a wood stud there. It'll show you plastic metal. I mean, it, I've tried this thing. Not for iPhone. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, iPhone users. You lose out. But the point of the matter is, I've used this thing. And it really does work. I was super impressed with it. I was stunned, really. Now, it's not cheap. It's $70. But, you know, honestly, it's almost worth the fun just for $70. But the fact of the matter is, if you're doing stuff around the house and you don't want to second guess, this thing you know. You it. you just know what's back there. there's no guessing as to what it is all right let's see let's see what else bob has on the on the list for us next up we've got the cordless stick vacuum for oh let's see how much is this thing three hundred dollars we've got the bissell at least he's not talking about the dyson right we've got the bissell cordless stick vacuum and and i gotta say I, I think, honestly, a lot of these stick vacuums are kind of overkill. It's kind of a joke. Uh, but if you want one, if you're really serious about it, then let's talk about the, the Ryobi 18V One Plus. You can get it for $200. And, and here's the thing about the Ryobi version. You've got a battery you can use with a whole other system, whereas something like this, that, that's, that battery is built into the system. You're kind of stuck. That's about the only tool you're going to use it for. And for $300, I think you can do a, a better option than that. I don't know. Maybe that's just the bear here. You know, I, you know, it's Bob Vila we're talking about. He, he must be right. 
Next item up, the glue gun. All right, Bob's right on this one. I'll, I'll give you that. The Ryobi glue gun is awesome, man. This thing is, it, it, cordless glue guns are are tricky at best. They take a long time to heat up. Then they're, you got to cool off all this. This thing for is probably one of the best, if not the best, cordless glue gun you can get. All right, I'll give Bob the win on that one. Next up, jigsaw. Honestly, I was looking for different options and stuff on the jigsaw. And the fact of the matter is, you know, when I really thought, sat down and thought about it is not too many people go out and buy a jigsaw just as like their primary tool. So what you're going to do is when you're looking at cordless tool systems, you're going to think about what's the one, two or three cordless tools I use the most. And then you're going to go out and buy the cordless tool system to get you the best bang for the buck for what you need. And a jigsaw is going to be usually third, fourth, fifth down the list. And you're going to buy whatever jigsaw works with the platform you're already invested in. So it's almost a, a non-item here as far as you know picking the best cordless jigsaw because you're just going to buy what it, whatever fits the battery platform you're already invested in. All right, let's keep going. This cordless screwdriver. We got the Black & Decker here. Never drop a screw again has the retractable magnetic screw holder that ensures screws go into the wall straight, never get dropped, small, lightweight, rechargeable. Uh, all right, I'll be honest. I got this screwdriver. We were moving into a house and my tools were still in storage and I needed to set some stuff up. And I was at Walmart and I just grabbed one and thought this would be a good throw in the kitchen drawer kind of screwdriver. You know, I don't know if your house is anything like my house, but you've got some kitchen drawers where you have like, you know, a small assortment of tools where you don't want to run out to the shop and dig through all your good tools. This is the stuff you don't mind if the Cubs or the Misses uses and, you know, let's, let's be honest, loses. So, you know, this is the choice to go with, right? Eh, honestly, I've never been a fan of it. Uh, it's it's underpowered in a lot of situations. And that little stick thing here, that thing never worked right. It's real gimmicky kind of thing. And for $30 there, essentially $30, I thought we could do better. And, uh, you know, we can. And here's what the bear found for you. And that is the Tack Life electric screwdriver, cordless rechargeable, 4 volt, this is very similar to a lot of other screwdrivers that are in this category. In fact, uh, Harbor Freight even makes one that's similar to this. And, and I hate to say it, guys, because, uh, you know, I, I like the guys over at Harbor Freight. I know the people who designed that one. I, I got to say, I think this is a better buy. You know why? Because this has got a chuck on it. I was really disappointed. and I didn't realize it until, honestly, after I'd already used it and done the video. Because having looked at the Bauer one, I thought it did have a chuck, and it doesn't. This one's got a six-setting chuck. Much like many of the other screwdrivers in this class, uh, it's got a forward-facing light. It's You can rotate it so it can either be the straight handle or the pistol grip kind of handle. But you know what else I like about this better than anything else? It's USB rechargeable. You know what that means? That means you're not hunting and looking for a charging pack for this thing. You can't lose the charging pack and just be like, oh, well, I guess that tool's worthless now. Because, again, it's going in a kitchen drawer pro probably. And what does what do you all have in your kitchen? You pro, if you're anything like my family, you've got a bunch of power packs for USB charging for phones and tablets and whatnot. So you're not even going to have to worry about finding a charger because you've already got them lined up there. And it comes with this nice little uh, pack of uh, of uh, what you call it, of, of drill bits down here, so you can throw those in the drawer with it. You've got some star bits, some uh, slotted heads, some Phillips, some square even. Basically anything you could possibly need for around the kitchen kind of stuff. And on top of that, this also has the flashlight feature, which means that, you know, in an emergency, you know, blackout situation, you go to that kitchen drawer, you pull it out. Now you got a lithium powered flashlight for getting around in a dark house. What's not to like about that? I don't know. I don't know how anybody could complain about this kind of tool, especially at that price for under 20 bucks. That, that's a no brainer. Uh, sorry, Bob, but I, I think the bear takes you on that one. So anyway, let's keep going here. We got Black & Decker. What do we got next? A light bulb. So this is battery powered tools. This is a GE LED battery backup bulb. So what it does, now the price on it's not terrible for an LED bulb, but $16, is it's got a built-in battery. So what happens is it charges when the power's on, and if power goes out, you can switch it with this to turn your light on. So if you get a blackout, you can still turn on all your lights. Um, I don't know, maybe if you live in a part of the country that has really terrible power systems or get blackouts all the time, this might be a thing. Honestly, 
I might just go back and go with. I mean, if you already got the TAC Life uh, screwdriver, there's your rechargeable flashlight. I don't know if I need a rechargeable bulb in all of my uh, my lamps. It seems a little odd. Anyway, I don't know. Let me know down below. What do you think about something like this? Is this something you might think you put in your household? Maybe, I guess, maybe one light in the living room. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, there you go. That's the Bear versus Bob Vila. Let me know how you think I did. <laughs> you think I beat the master? Anyway, if you are interested, I'll put lists or links to his article down below as well as links to some of the tools that I talked about so you can go check them out. And again, let me know what you think or if you think there's a better option out there that the bear missed and the Bob missed, if you think you could beat Bob Vila or the tool bear, comment down below. Let's know. <laughs> Let's know what you think. Anyway, you all take care. Have a great weekend. Hey, don't forget to catch us tomorrow night, Sunday night at 6 for family tool talk live with uh joe smith returning to the youtubes he's going to be a special guest hanging out there one of our favorite in fact our original moderator is going to be back anyway we all take care god bless and as always shine on